I'm fired up. NBC is fired up. CBS is fired up. The Yugoslavia station is fired up. It's championship game. We're at Marshall School. I'm here with Justin Barrasso. I'm Nubi Red Toe. Buckle up, get your popcorn out, because we're here for a show. Wow. One of the best days of the year for one of the best leagues in the year. Little Elementary Basketball Championship Saturday. Eagles versus the Wolves. Eagles are in your blue. Wolves are in red. First game here, championship action, packed house. You can cut the atmosphere at the butter knife. Justin, what do you see happening today? A lot of interesting storylines surrounding this game. Lynn Woods actually lost by five points, 21-16 early in the year to Callahan. Callahan's buzz, have been a buzzsaw through teams, mm. so it's going to be interesting. Little jumper right there. Now, Justin, what grades are, are, are these girls? These are fifth graders. Occasionally you find a fourth grader. Very rare do you find mm -hmm. a third, but mostly fourth and fifth graders. Lynn Woods is driven by their uh, their backbone, Talia Gallo, right there with the red shorts, number five with the headband on. She's been sensational. She played last year. She was talented and obviously looking for a championship in her fifth grade year. So here we go. So it's four ten-minute quarters here. Yes. Running time. That's a big 4-0 lead if she can pull it out. Oh, Huge. toughness. Nice offensive board right there. It's Gallo. Certainly getting shot attempts. Yep, definitely. So early on, two to nothing here. Uh, the Wolves lead. The Wolves are in red. Yeah, Lynn Woods in red. Callahan in blue. They played in the pool play. So everybody gets two games in pool play. Mm -hmm. And Lynn Woods won 21 16. So it's a close game. We're going to shout out to our YouTube viewers watching right now. Thank you for joining us. I think this is our first time covering uh, elementary basketball tournament championship. So this is a bit of TV history right here. Doing it live. Also, some nice Lynn Tech connections. You have Bree Kerr and Caitlin Wexler from the Lynn Tech girls basketball staff on uh, as the coaching staff for, for Callahan. Just rolls reverse. Bree's the head coach here and mm -hmm. Kate's her assistant. We have uh, Seamus on camera, our play-by-play -play announcer for uh, Lynn Tech basketball. He'll be joining us in the game as well. And we have Andy Batista on the production crew as well, and he'll be joining us throughout the throughout these games, kind of sharing his basketball knowledge. What a hell of a season they had. Always fun to absolutely always fun to watch the out of bounds plays. Sean Morris, the coach of Lynn Woods, runs the league. Uh, he'll be in coaching in two championship games. Rumor is this is his last year coaching, so I oh, think wow. he, I'm sure he'd want to go out with his team. Win one for the Gipper, right? Yeah, absolutely, and that's his daughter helping him out too. So it's nice; it's a family affair. Good to see so many Lynn faces. I just saw yeah. Angie Bingham in the house. Um, here to Lynn, support our coaching staff. Yep, Lynn Tech um, All-Star off Talia, the glass. Nope. Talia Gallo has dominated so far, but it's tough for Lynn Woods. They only had that two-point advantage. Nice defense right there. Oh, great defense. I'll tell you what, number 13, um, Brazo. Amelia Brazo. Amelia yeah. Brazo, I mean. Fantastic defense. Suffocating You're right. defense right there. It's on the best. I give these kids credit. I'm, I'm still rolling out of bed at this time of the morning. Oh, man. Yeah, just They're playing the championship. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice Off the backboard. Nice board right there. To get to the final, Sean actually, his team beat his brother's team. Kind of a, 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 a more family uh, drama in that semifinal game. And Look at Gallo to the bucket. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. The avalanche comes through. She's been the difference maker so far. 6.40 to play in the first quarter. Four to nothing right there, right down the pipe. A little floater kick, get off the backboard. I don't care what level of basketball it is, you got to rebound the ball. Be Lynn Woods doing a nice job looting Callahan to one shot at most. Absolutely. Makes a big difference. Yep. Oh, great defense again. Tell you what. I mean, oh, they found it right in the middle, though. Wow. Might be time for a, a Callahan timeout. Offensive machine right there. Six to nothing. That's their future star right there. Hopefully a Lynn Tech student. Well, classical English should be lucky too. Launches for the parking lot. Nice offensive board though. Yeah, some really deep shots for Callahan to start the first quarter. Just off the mark. Everyone on the roster is supposed to get in once per game. Mm -hmm. Coaches are pretty good about it here. 
And as long as you play, you're eligible for a, a medal. Yeah. And then the win obviously the winning team gets a trophy. Okay. She is just dominating. Gallo stops, pops, misses. Oh, a great aggression going to the bucket right there, stopping and, and uh, getting herself a good shot. And I don't care what level the basketball it is, if you can create your own shot, it's it's a pleasure to watch. Absolutely. Jump ball coming. And the possession I was going to go towards. Lynn Woods. Lynn Woods, Woods Wolves. Wolves. Yep. Shout out to Sean, who's uh, directing this uh, whole, whole tournament, correct? Sean, yes, Sean. It's a family affair. It was his father. He inherited from his, took it from his father. Mm -hmm. uh, his mother helps. His son, brother and daughter help. It's a really nice family affair. Dynamite. And Sean is an elementary teacher. He's at Lynn Woods. I met him at Cobbett. Uh, probably about a decade ago. Uh, but Sean's given a lot back to the city of Linux. He's a gentleman. He's going to go with the all five uh, subs, so it'll be interesting to lose your, your key player. But this whole group's done a nice job. Lopez has a good hide on her. Absolutely. Couldn't quite find her in the paint. Good effort, though. That was playing hard. You know, that was playing hard against early. You know, to, to get your energy up here in the morning. Lynn Woods to an early lead, but they might be kicking themselves. They missed a couple of those layups. It could be 8-0. It could be 10-0. Only a four-point lead. Yeah, There's a first of five games here, which is really exciting. Launches. No good. Best shot of the morning, though. And a pretty good crowd. Oh, that, 10 a.m. at Thurgood Marshall. Dynamite crowd. Oh, oh, oh we Speaking got here. We got Lynn Tech Tech Best over here. Amy Diaz. Daniela Maltanano and Amy Diaz, two senior leaders at Lynn Tech. Wow. We got to get a few of them on uh, at, at some point. Absolutely. Talk about their season. Let's see if we can get Amy on here. The captain, Amy Diaz. Who I didn't Amy, see. Amy, can you grab Amy for me? Amy, can you grab her for me? Amy, yeah. Turnover from Callahan. They just get once they find the hoop once, they should be okay. But breaking that ice is tough. Yeah, we got Andy join us over here just for a few minutes. I mean, captain of the team, senior. I mean, she's going to provide just a wealth of information. Two state tournament appearances, which I think is the first. You remember the first captain to ever have done that in Lintech history? Absolutely. And I think we know where her allegiances are this morning. Likely cheering on uh, the Callahan Eagles. Amy Diaz, good morning. Good morning. I feel special. Oh, you, you are special. <laughs> I mean, the captain of the basketball team, senior, the fierce one they call you. Yes, sir. Hell of a season, man. T talk about it. And what brings you here today? Um, I, th I think it's important to get around and support these little girls because at some point they're going to be in our position. And it's nice to get our name out there. Did you play in this tournament, Amy, as a fifth grader? I sure did. For which I, team? I played for Ingles, and I was on the all-star team, actually. All right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are some of your best memories of uh, playing this tournament? I think is when we started pressing at the last, like, two minutes. Yeah. That was really fun. All out chaos. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, I think that was the best part. Now, Amy, um, you're going to be graduating this year. Congratulations, first and foremost. Thank you. Have you ever thought Good about maybe doing some coaching? Um, yeah, um, I'm thinking about coaching the freshman team at Lynn Tech oh, awesome. next year if I uh, don't go to the military. Awesome, awesome. Listen, I, we, we think you'd be a great role model on any level, elementary, middle school, or high school, because you showed that leadership on the court. So, That's it. so six to one here. I definitely like it. Squeezed in a free throw from, from Callahan. Important to get on the board. Amy, who do you, who do you like today? Uh, any preference in uh, coaching staffs from Sean Morris at Lynn Woods or perhaps <laughs> Bree Karen, Caitlin Wexler? And yeah, where's the coaching advantage? What, what do you think? <laughs> well, we're definitely going with Callahan here. <laughs> they just started off a little cold, but once they warm up, they should be fine. Absolutely. Yes, they're doing great. They're doing great. Uh, what are your thoughts about the season? Have you guys made the playoffs? I think it's the third consecutive year making the playoffs. 
Just, uh, I think I had so much fun this season, even though it, it was it, it wasn't the outcome we wanted. It mm -hmm. was just great. I had so much fun. The girls are were so respectful, so um, willing to win, um, and I think that's that's so important. In a very different team, last year's team Correct. was a little more. I mean, you had a lot of seniors. Yes. Uh, two sensational eighth graders who went to English, mm -hmm. and this year was a, a bit of a different core. You know, transfer and. Angie, it just, it's nice to be able to win in different circumstances, right? You, oh, what a crossover right there. That. Great D, though, too. Oh, better steal, though. <laughs> Two on one. Stopped, pops. Sean, Coach Morris looking for the travel there. Biting his tongue. Down the baseline. Oh. Yes! <laughs> it's going to cost him. What a shot right there by Best. Coach Morris giving the, the our official the business. 25 seconds left. Timeout, Lynn Woods. Six to three here. It's a big hoop. Huge hoop. It's a big hoop. Talia Gallo back for the final 20 seconds. She seems to be their stud at Lynn Woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen her play before. Yeah. Yeah. She just dominates them all. And I love the way she cuts to the basket. I mean, that's just. Yeah, she's just so good. Yeah. What a play. What a give and go right there. A little bit of. That's special. That was good. <laughs> Gonna run out of time here on Callahan. Eight to three after one. That was a good half. First quarter by Yeah, three Callahan. more to go. Still a long way to go. And, and you think of all the shots Callahan missed, they'd be right in this game. Yeah. So anybody's game after one. But you're saying this, uh, yeah, it's such a great time this season. I mean, uh, you, you guys really, um, you know, you guys did a great job. You guys really, you know, took care of business in the conference. and. Played every team tough. I mean, obviously, you know, there's only one champion, but you guys really had a heck of a season. Yeah, it was it was so much fun. Obviously, it was such a new team that, like, it took us time to, like, get used to each other. Mm -hmm. um, but I wish we had those first couple games back because right. I feel like the, we weren't the same team that we were in the beginning of the season. I Winning the conference would have been really nice. Yes. And you guys went to Minuteman. And Lintec historically always, it's a house of horrors for us. And one on the road at Minuteman. That's a huge win. Oh no, we won. They we won at their home. Right, you went out to Minuteman and won. Oh no, 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 they won at our, our home. Sorry. And we won there. No, we did not win it there. We didn't beat Minuteman on the road. No. Mr. Bronson, get your facts straight. I'm 99 point. When we get Coach <laughs> Breon, we split with Minuteman. We we took it to him the second time. No, we uh, lost them. Uh, we <laughs> lost to them by like five points. It was a close game. Though. Are you thinking of Great, uh, Northeast? No, no Minuteman. I think we beat him, but you you played in the game and I didn't, so I'm gonna take your word. I'm gonna yeah. go with Amy on yeah, this one. Yeah, um, I apologize. We definitely we definitely gonna win at their home, but we won we 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 won at our home. That we didn't want to lose at our home, and we didn't. So we did beat them once. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just mixed up the places. Wow, this conversation is going in circles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I got a headache. For our five viewers out there, for our viewers out there, I apologize. Five million. That's right. Okay. <laughs> and the inside. A little give and go. Defense Jumper. I love her trust in a teammate, too. I mean, I know she missed that shot, but it was awfully close. Oh. Nice they pass. Newbie, both teams moving the ball really well, very unselfishly. Golden State Warrior like. <laughs> I you know, love that the, the ball rotation. What a crazy uh, playoffs we have in the Western Conference here between 6 through 11. I mean, I think they're separated by a game and a half. And all those teams, I mean, they've got to be licking, no, no, no disrespect to the Sacramento Kings, though I suppose some disrespect intended. They've they got to be licking their chops for, for Sacramento and teams like that. Tyler Gallo with a nice pivot and pop. Big rebound by, I believe that's Avery Freitas. Tell you what. The ball really good. I agree. Amy, have you had a chance to check out some of the college basketball um, women's March Madness? I, was, I mean, I was watching the LSU game last night. Right. It was a great game, and, but like so many, like I think there was like two girls from the LSU team that fouled out, and like another two from the uh, what was it Utah? Utah like, team that fouled out also. It was a lot of fouls. I like what I'm seeing from Miami too. Oh, they yeah. look phenomenal. Yeah, so, yeah, so they look phenomenal. Next week is LSU versus uh, Miami, right? I believe so. It's it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Good I'll basketball. I'll be I'll be there watching. 
Eight to five, eight minutes remaining. Linwood's with the ball in the lead. Ooh, looks like a backcourt oh, violation. Back court. That's pretty close. So eight to five. I mean, this is this is a nail bite over here. Now we can't see it on. Actually, we can't see it on camera. Coach Wex is working on some X's and O's with her her, her players on the bench. What do you think she's saying to him right now, Amy? You've been there before with Coach. Uh, She's probably, she's probably like letting her know where, where she could probably stand to rebound the ball or something. It's usually what's important to her is getting the rebounds and going. And I've heard Coach Wexler once or twice talk to you guys about getting back on defense. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> once or twice. Right. <laughs> rebound, rebounds galore for Lynn yeah. Woods. That's number ten with the rebound and get. Hitting the deck there, Madeline Ramirez. A lot of hard work for Madeline. I didn't pay up for the basket, but. This Bella girl is good, too. Yeah, a lot of size, Amy. Mm -hmm. This whole Callahan lineup, for the most part, four to five, three to five has some good size. Yeah. Talia Gallo. Cro we have a crossover. No, I think like they're going to get a backcourt. Mr. Retto enjoying the sandwiches from Brothers Deli and Peabody. <laughs> Those were a big hit this morning. Something on the floor there. I wonder if they're going to catch it. Where do you see it? Oh, they did. Yeah, you're right. You're a headband or armband now. Yeah. Good catch. So, I mean, you said a potential, potentially the military next year? Yeah. Um, I have to see if they, uh, since I told my ACL, like, it could be a factor for me not being able to. So you tore your ACL as a junior. Yep. What did you and what did you hurt this year? Because you went through um, a, you went through a really the ringer with injuries. Yeah. <laughs> um, this year I just I guess I uh, did a high ankle sprain. Yeah, because um, I got it checked out yesterday and it wasn't broken. Good. So um, it's probably just a high ankle sprain or something like bone bruising, but nothing really. Too big. Nothing like a tear like you yeah. went through. Because that was a... Yeah, um, nothing compares to torn ACL. Miserable ordeal for you to battle. And you battled back to senior year to be a captain, to help yeah. you to the state title. Talia Gallo drives, penetrates, penetrates and drives, picks up the foul. It's uh, wow. baseline this, out of bounds for Lynn Woods. This game's intense over here. <laughs> I mentioned a shout-out to Brothers Deli and Peabody. Good <laughs> breakfast sandwich. Oh, yeah. Oh, some of the best. Yeah, they did a nice job. Some of the best. Is that where you get the breakfast sandwich from? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, they were uh, brothers there in Lynn or Peabody? There's so many of them on the North Shore. This was uh, downtown Peabody. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, this was, uh, yeah, that sandwich was something special, the, frankly. The rebounding right now for Lynn Woods, I'd say, is the one difference, mm. the biggest difference in this game. Because otherwise, Callahan's right there with him. It's a three-pointer. It's oh! good. McKinney for three. The center shooting from three. From the parking lot. From downtown. That's great. There was no doubt about that. This girl is just great. And she's intense too. Not even cracking a smile. She said, let's go. We got game to win here. That was a three. They only gave him two points. They don't give out threes? No, it was 10-5, wasn't it? I think they gave it Oh, three. it was. Yeah, it was 10-5. Oh, yeah. Callahan five. had five? I thought Callahan was up. Big rebound for Lynn Woods. Can't finish right now, but really working the boards. Nice up fake by Talia Gallo. Penetrates, shoots, just misses. 10 to 8 right now. Anybody's game. Here we Four go. Four minutes to play. Here come the Wolves. So Lynn Woods is the home team? Yes. Oh, okay. Which is odd. You're right because um, Callahan's the higher seed. Good catch, Amy. But Lynn Woods is listed as the home team. Oh. But you're right. Uh, Lynn Woods the one seed. Uh, excuse me. Callahan's the one seed. Another rebound. That's a big one. When I was in the tournament, they didn't do, uh, they didn't do uh, one seeds and stuff like that. It was just the same team every time. Katya Penko with the hoop there. You're right. It was a little bit different. It was a random drawing back then. Yeah. And then you get who you get. 12 to 8. Holds up here. Oh, that defense is great. A 
Wow, to the bucket. An offensive pellet. Offensive avalanche onslaught. Whatever you call it, it's domination. 14 to 8. Understanding the urgency, too. Only up by two points. Extending it to a six point game is a big difference. Tell you what, both teams are playing so hard right now. You know, they're, you know, they're keeping their head up. This is going to go down to the wire over here. Now, we have two excellent, outstanding teams. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see it. Look at the defense right there. Look at the defense. Look at the tenacity. Look at the work ethic. These little, these two twins are great. I think they're twins, right? Under, I don't know. Oh, you're right. They, similar hairstyle, yeah, for sure. Five, Five and six. We'll find out for you. Yes. They're, they're also pretty good. Ah, they're going to catch her on a travel there. Tough to stop on a dime like that, but a nice steal. And yeah, it's really tough. I learned from experience. That's how I took my ACL. Yeah. On a fast break. That's right. Under the far hoop, I remember. Yeah. Off. Looks like it stays with Lynn Wood's ball. Yes. 145 to play in the half. 34 million viewers watching right now. Just another Saturday morning for you, Mr. Ratto. Saturday morning. Big steal. Wow. It comes best, coast to coast. That is Puts heaven best. Her sister with the rebound. Passes right back. Uh, so Double trouble. Another rebound. That, I thought that was going uh, in. Uh, oh, no backcourt press. See <laughs> if they catch that, yeah. Would have been a backcourt violation anyways. One fourteen left, 14 to 6. I like how she trusted in her sister to shoot that ball. I did like, yeah, you're right. It's all about trust, chemistry. One minute to play, 14 to 8. Clock is running, 14 to 8, Lynn Woods. Newbie, I'll hustle at halftime. I'll see if we can get a coach or two to speak to us at the half. Any burning questions on your mind? I mean, listen, I mean, it comes down to what do you tell your team here? I mean, this championship game, I mean, how do you get them, you know, back on track and, and, and focus and, and get to the game? This is intense right here. And I really, like, how do you keep them calm? I feel like you just got to um, reassure them that they're still in this game. Absolutely. This is anybody's game. It's a, it's a six-possession game, so it's not. Especially when you're hitting threes like that. That was a beautiful three she hit. Yeah. It's not that hard to get back in it. They still have a whole other half. Big steal. The best sisters are everywhere right now. Everywhere. Out. Yep. She got her sister for a pass. Ooh, look like she got hit there. They just got to stay in control. Six and a half seconds left. She gets finds her way to get to the free throw line. I yep. know, Newbie, you've always talked about the best players find their way to the free throw line. Yep. Absolutely. Just get to the bucket or, you know, find, find a way to get some points to the board for your team. That's what she did right there. They just got to get some rest at halftime and be ready to play. Oh, tough break. Right side of their front rim. This is heaven best with her second of two free throws. Back rim looked good. Five seconds, four, three, two. They don't know that. That's going to bring us to the half. That was a good half. They're still in it. Wow. 14 to 8 here after the first half. The Wolves have a two possession game, but any person's game here going to the second half. So we'll, we'll see if we can get you for some interviews here during halftime. If not, we'll see you in the second half. Back here, second half action. Mr. Brasso, what do you see happening here? I'm really interested. That the best sisters have really helped dictate the pace of the game for, uh, for Callahan. It's going to be critical for them, but also. Can Linwoods continue to control the rebound out of the battle of the boards? If they do, good things will happen. Nice we have a missing shoe. We have a missing shoe. Breaking news, we have a missing shoe. Big smile on her face, too. <laughs> it's a nice reminder these are still kids, and they're, they're, <laughs> they're giving their every inch of their heart and soul. Joining the broadcast booth with um, CAC All-Star, right? Yeah. Angie Bingham. Angie, hell of a season you guys had. Uh, what brings you here today? Um. Just trying to support my coaches. Team. Yeah. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. If I could nitpick for a moment, new, new, newbie, shouldn't have been just an all-star. Should have been. There was no better kid in that league. Should have been the MVP, in my opinion. Andrew. One hundred percent agree. Had a fantastic, phenomenal season. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Andy, what are you seeing here in the first half and kind of here in the, in the second half right now, 14-8, moves up by six. Kind of break down the game. What are you seeing about both teams here? Um, say it again. What do you like? What do you dislike? Um, what I like is um, Call Callahan is still working hard to um – Yeah, they really haven't let the early deficit break their confidence. Yes. Who did you play for in elementary? Tracy Elementary School. All right. Yeah. Do you remember how you guys did – I know the tournament was set up a little bit, structured a little differently back then. Do you remember how you did in the tournament? Um, I know that we lost um, the first game in the tournament. Okay. Yeah. To Drew, it's elementary school. And at the time, I know you've what? aged five years since. I'm just trying to cut you off. Can we it's talk about the defense by Bess right here? Yes. Phenomenal suffocating defense. And that's on Talia Gallo, who's been outstanding so far. But I'm sorry, Mr. Bronson. Go ahead. I cut no you off. No worries. When you lose that game to Drew, it's, it's funny looking back. It's like your whole world ends for a minute. You know what yeah. I mean? This tournament is so important to these kids. and um, Yeah, I coached Tracy the year after you left. So I, I had the boys really? the next year. Yeah, the boys, not the girls. But oh. um, I coached the Cobbett girls years ago, but those kids graduated. Newby made a good point, though. Big matchup here. The best sisters against Talia Gallo. Yeah. If they can slow her down, it's a different game. Yes. Let's see again, good defense, good good job moving her feet. They just need a hit or shot. Right, one shot, break the dam, so to speak. Nice give and go. Ooh. Looked like a foul there too, but no call. And how do you think the season went this year? You know, you guys uh, made the playoffs again. Um, you know, it looks like you guys had a solid year. I mean, did you enjoy this year? What, what are some of your highlights of the season? Um. I mean, we had a lot of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like a roller coaster, but I enjoyed meeting new people on the team. Um, it's your first year at Lynn Tech? Yes. Yeah, so all new teammates, new yeah. coaching staff. It, it was a really good experience. I think our best game was versus Greater Laurel. Greater Lowell. Okay, the Vogue tournament game. Yes. Yes. Let me ask you this. No wrong answer. Did we go on the road to I was gonna let, me, let me let me look a little skinnier. Did we go on the road and play Minuteman? What? Did we play Minuteman on the road? On the road? Yeah. How many times did we play Minuteman? Twice. Like one there and then one at home. Newbie, did you hear that? One there and one home. So what what I'm gonna get Amy Diaz in school on Monday. It's Amy. But she did we beat them out there? No. All right. So we were both right then. I was wrong at one point, and she was right at one point. So We lost by three when we were home, and then we won them. No, we lost by three there at their home, right. and then... We smacked them at our gym. Yes. Okay, so I mixed up the, the dates, but... And Newby, you grew up in Brockton? Uh, yep. Is there a youth elementary tournament sort of similar? There is, very similar. It's a big, it's a big deal, you know. Um, a lot of passion, you know, all our parents are passionate about it, which is very awesome. Yes, Critical hook right there. Off the fast break for Callahan. That was Ariani Lopez. Angie, just you and me on the broadcast right now. Two points seems like a huge deal right now. I mean, that was a big hoop for them. Yes. Oops. And Talia Gallo comes right back. Extends the lead back to six. She is tough. Sixteen ten. Five minutes to play in the third quarter. Oh, phenomenal shot. Nevaeh Best with a huge turnaround jumper to shorten the lead to sixteen twelve. Shorten the deficit to four points. I will say, though, Angie, it does seem like Gallo right back with a layup. Finds her way into the paint and finishes. 
It does see, it's now 18-12 with 4.30 to play in the third quarter. What a scoring burst from both teams. It does feel like Coach Bree and Coach Kate are a little more calmer in elementary games than they are in high school games. Is that fair to say? Yes, it is fair. <laughs> Also, it deserves mention too. Your father, who's coaching as a Lintec and the Lintec Athletic Hall of Fame, he's an all-star basketball player, and he was the coach of the year for the conference. They had a phenomenal year, the boys' team too. I believe they won 18 games in a vote, vote title. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you're very proud of Dad. Yes, I am. I mean, they deserve it. Absolutely, they put in the work. Newbie, what a scoring burst from both these teams. It's like a heavyweight fight. Punch after punch back right now. Back and forth, back and forth here. Lynn Woods on a big 4-0 run. Now it's about who can make some stops right now. Who can make some stops? Who can get some rebounds? Who can make some key buckets? Now you got to dig deep right now. It's gut check time. 20 to 12, Lynn Woods. 3.20 to play in the third quarter. Big steal by Talia Gallo. It's going to be a big substitution here too. The uh, Wolves are going to take out all five. They're going to be at 10 points at least when it happens. An absolute machine inside, outside, post work. Nothing but net, off the glass. I uh, mean, the whole resume, the whole repertoire. Don't know how to spell it, but I can say it. Repertoire. If you can know how to spell that, I'll give you $5. Talia Gallo has been sensational. Again, her teammates have been important too. But uh, what a performance so far from the Lynn Woods Wolves. Angie, can you, can you, when you get a chance, uh, can you grab Divine here? I would like to interview her as well. We'd like to get her on the move. I think it's the whole team at some point. Okay. So she's going to grab Divine with us. So Angie, thanks for joining us. Angie. You're welcome. And uh, we're going to get Divine here. We'll get the whole crew. Wow, this is intense. This is fun. It, they cut it to 16 12, newbie. Looked like anybody's game, right. and then Gallo went on a six-point spree herself. A ten-point game right now feels, now I'm not saying it is, it just feels insurmountable. Wow, 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 wow. We're amongst greatness right now. We're with uh, Divine. Divine's in the house. Wow. What brings you here? And I know you, I know your coach is um, what the coach for Callian as well. Yeah. I mean, how, how cool is this? I mean, this is a great atmosphere. That's just really nice, and like we get to like be a good influence on the other kids to bring them to tech, to come with, to the school and to come play for the team too. What speed! Have you had a chance to meet some of the girls from Callahan? Yeah. Um, Nevaeh and Heaven. Nevaeh has my number. And oh, really? Heaven has number six. Yeah. And their older brother goes to my is in my, one of my classes. A few of my classes. He's in the eighth grade. Yeah. Uh, tech. Yeah. Awesome. Right. He's right there. Where? Oh, yeah, all right. Perfect timing. What's up? <laughs> Everyone's talking about you. Everyone's talking about you. Two thirty. We just gave you a shout-out on camera. Yeah. Yeah, we just gave you a shout-out. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. No idea what we're talking about. Yeah. And Divine, congratulations for those listening. You are a newly accepted into the high school program at yeah. Lintec. What congratulations. Yeah, I honor. didn't know about that. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, that's awesome. Stressful. Yeah. I was really scared. I, I didn't know if I would get in or not, but and then I did. So. What are you thinking about for a vocation? I know the TV media shop is pretty special. Mm. Yeah, that, that teacher's pretty cool. That's oh, what I hear. Mm. From oh, what I hear. Cool. I'll, check, I'll check it out. <laughs> well, you got no choice. You got to go through all the rotations. Yeah. Listen, Ed, there's so many good shops over there. There's no bad choice. Yeah. So yeah. many good shops. No, because I actually had TV media in mind for one of my things because oh, really? I did because I was like in the like because I at Bree there was like a TV media like thing after school and like I did that and like it was fun. Oh, was that with uh, Mr. Donahue? Yeah. Awesome. Mr. Donahue, excellent, excellent teacher over at Classical now. Nice. Newbie, not a lot of time, but there still is time. Minute 20 left in the third quarter. We still got a whole fourth to play. Callahan down by 10, but with the ball. Let's see. I mean, listen, this is only a couple of possessions right here. I mean, they're right there. Nice cross court pass. Free throw line jumper. No. Would have been big. And can they get it to within six or four? And when it's time to press in the fourth, it'll be a big difference. Nobody in foul trouble right now. 50 seconds to play in the third quarter. 
So shout out to our crew doing a fantastic job this first game. We have uh, Andy in the house uh, and Seamus doing a great job on camera. Mm -hmm. Best in the business. Andy's going to join us in the second game. Yeah. Do some announcing with us. Big steal. Woohoo! All the way. He's trying to wheel the ball on the hoop. We're going to call travel there on, and that's heaven, I think. Yeah. On heaven best, but trying to wheel the ball on the hoop. They're just so close. Eight seconds here, 10 point game. Swings it, five, four, three, stolen oh, by yeah, Best. Here's Best, coast to coast, puts it up! Oh. No good. At the buzzer, 22 to 12, a barn burner here at Marshall. Buckle up, it's the fourth quarter championship game. Shabba shabba woo! Critical eight to six advantage there for, for uh, Lynn Woods. That was a. That was a big quarter. They, they took the best punch from Callahan, and they're still standing. Yeah, I was watching um, that late night show, um, Conan, uh, Conan O'Brien. And Conan O'Brien said, I bet you an announcer cannot, during the game, somehow just say, shabba shabba woo. So that was my way of squeezing it in there. <laughs> he said, so he was talking to Joe Buck. He's like, Joe Buck, I just want you to say something crazy during the game. He said, during the game, just go say, shabba shabba woo. Not only have <laughs> has, has this broadcast done it not once, not twice, but but three times. Yes, so yes. take that corner. Yeah. <laughs> he said you can't fit into a broadcast. I said, I'll figure it out. Divine, do you think Danielle would come on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Want to grab Danielle? Grab, grab her. Yeah. Thanks Divine, for joining thank you us. so much. Of course. Wow, this is so much fun right here. We've only just begun. <laughs> Let's go. Danielle, a cool story. Uh, another senior, four-year player. Also, a uh, Cosmo shop. So wow. she can talk a little bit about what they excellent. do there. Excellent, excellent shop. They do really good stuff over there. Dynamite program. Daniela, pronounce your last name for us. Maldonado. That's what I thought. Daniela Maldonado. Maldonado. Yeah. Lintec Sr. Cosmo shop. Yep. Four year basketball player. She just hit the deck. Yep. Lintex best right here. Absolutely. And hopefully going to bring some magic to Coach Wexler and Coach Bree because down 10 in the fourth, they're going to need some. What are your thoughts so far on the game? No, they're, they're really trying. They're really like. I can see. Um, what's this um, girl number one's name? For what team? Um, for Callahan. Bella Desaya? Bella. Desia? She definitely got, she's really good. Yeah, it hasn't stopped working. Like I said, tons of heart, and they have not, they just refuse to give up. Yeah, refuse to give up. Get it, get it, get it. They're still here. We got three on two. Fast break opportunity. Coast to coast, off the glass. Can't put it in. I mean, just a couple of these here and there, newbie. If they if they were able to finish, uh, it would be a different game. And they, if you can get it to six or four points again, once That's you start it. to press mm -hmm. under two minutes, it's a game changer. Down ten is going to be a little bit harder. Yeah. Good good jump ball situation here, especially with uh, the starters for Linwood's out of the game. This is a great chance for Callahan to to cut the deficit. Daniel, what a crowd! Yeah. I Ooh, it's like packed in here. I know, right? Yeah. Saturday morning at Thurgood Marshall. Yeah. Maybe the nicest gym in Lynn. I mean, it's up there, right? Yeah, it's the no, nice one. absolutely. They did a great job. What are you going to do next year once you graduate? Well, going to college. Congratulations. Do we know where? Um, Salem State. Congratulations. Excellent. Yeah. Proud Viking. Going to be up. What do you look to major there? Um, business. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And one day we'll have your own uh, hair salon. Yeah. All right. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Eight minutes to play. You do worry for Callahan. The clock's ticking. But for Lynn Woods, trying to hold on up 22 to 12 with clock just running. 7.50 to play. I have high hopes for them. I, I, I have a good feeling that they they're going to get up. They've had the looks. The, the shots just haven't fallen. But, I mean, it's not for a lack of effort. It's not for a lack of heart. It's just that they haven't got the bounces. Yeah. 
Lynn Woods looks like they're going for, uh, going, going to try to extend that lead, putting the starting five, I believe, back in the game, newbie. Looks like it, yeah. I mean, you know, they, they want to go for it here, fourth quarter. Turnover to start. Here comes, here comes Callahan. Oh, what speed, I'll tell you what. That speed is incredible. Oh. You've done a good job on defense in terms of getting turnovers. It's just a matter of converting, right? I agree. The conversion rate's low for Callahan. If they can just capitalize. And they've actually done the hard part, right? They've got to the hoop. Um, but just finishing's been, been difficult. 22 12, 640 to play. Linwood's lead. And the clock is ticking. Very unselfish ball move for Aaron Woods. I just, I just saw a little mistake by um, on, on what you're watching. You, you're going to see game two. It's actually, it's actually game one. So we'll make the correction for that. This is well mentioned oh, school game. But we'll, we'll, it's game one, but we'll change that. Feels like we've been here all day in the best, yep. way, in the best way possible. But we'll, we'll change it and we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you guys. This is game one. This is the Linwoods girls against Callahan. And Linwoods wants a timeout. They're gonna get it though. Yes, timeout 547 to play. 22 to 12. Joined here by the absolute best in the business to my left, Nubi Rato. To my right, Daniela Maltonato. And we're here for some championship basketball action. Nubi, what's your thought on the Boston Celtics? I don't want to call it a tailspin, but they have been somewhat mediocre since the All-Star break. The Celtics are who we thought they were, right? They're who we thought they were. I think, um, I think, like everyone, like everyone, and if we're real with ourselves, it happens to athletes, players, students, teachers. In March, sometimes you get a little bored. It's a long it's month. It's we get a little bored. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? We get a little bored in March. We take it a little easy. And then when, when April hits, we turn it up a little bit in the fourth quarter. So I think it's just March. It's a long month. You know, Celtics may have had, you know, after the All-Star game, try to take it easy. But they ripped back up. I'm not worried about them at all. I just want them to be healthy. And I'm with you. Uh, Robert Williams, who I think is phenomenal. Uh, he can't stay healthy. I do agree with you. I look at the East. I, I, I don't know if I'm not scared of it. and not frightened by anyone. Celtics are as good as, or better than anyone in the conference. Right. So I agree. Just got to get through. Got to give you kind of the uh, doldrums of, of March and April. Baseline out of bounds here for Lynn Woods, 547 to play. Daniela, if you're Coach Bree, what are you telling the Callahan girls right now? To just, to just keep pushing and to give it all, to give out all your best. That is a tough one there, tough break for Callahan. It is 24 to 12 with that bucket. 5.30 to play in the fourth quarter. So it, it looks like here that uh, that the Wolves will take this championship, but um, it's still early on. But you know, let, let's talk about just both teams getting to this point, getting here and working our hard all season. I mean, there's really no losers and winners here at this point. Yeah, I don't think Callahan, if they've lost this season, it's been one. I mean, they've had a great season. Oh, dynamite. They may not have even lost. I agree. Uh, well, here's my, here's my thing. And I've said it all the time on the broadcast. Sometimes you win, sometimes you what? Learn. Right? Yeah. Sometimes today's, you win, sometimes you learn. Today's certainly a learning experience. I remember my nephew was in this league. Um, a league similar to this at Brockton. Then he lost a championship game, and he was upset. And I had a couple of tears. So I said, listen, I said, watch them celebrate. Respect them. But I said, I want you to feel this moment. And then next year work harder and you'll be on the other side. Nothing motivates quite like the loss. Right? right? Yeah. 420 to play. 
clock's actually going to run right now under two minutes because it is a more than a double-digit lead. So we'll see. But Callahan not out of this yet. Just need to put the ball in the bucket. Yeah, it's going to be a tough climb, Justin. So uh, we'll see. It is. But there you go. 27-12, you're right. I mean, you're asking him more than double your input in, uh, in four, the next four minutes, 20 seconds. So uh, we'll take a little break after the first game, then we'll go on to our second game. So again, a um, little, little error in the, in, the, uh, in the graphic, which we'll fix. I'll take responsibility for that. Um, it, we're actually in game one, not game two. Game two will be coming up next. Um, so stay tuned for that. And believe it or not, game two, that's Sue Anderson and Lynn Woods, the boys. So back-to-back -back Lynn Woods games. Wow. Back-to-back -back games by Sean Morris. So he'll be coaching the next game as well. Oh, could, could Sean walk away here with two championships? And then after that, it's a back-to-back -back shoemaker, uh, uh, girls and boys. Don't tell so me he's coaching that too. No. <laughs> What's going on over here? No, he's not. But... Um, and then after that, back-to-back -back angles. So it's we're seeing certain teams uh, multiple times. But and the Division Two boys newbie, uh, close to my heart. I coached the Brickett boys last year, past couple years. It was a pleasure coaching them. This year I coached the Sisson boys. We got knocked out last Saturday. So it's uh, it's a joy to be part of this league. Wow. That's I'll definitely be an, an emotional game for you. 32-31 oh, in overtime we lost last week. But uh, I'm excited for the Brickett boys today, having so much of an opportunity. We worked in the winter. We worked in the spring. We did a clinic together. Uh, really hardworking team. The Sisson boys this year, they were great too. We'll see the Sisson girls today in the championship in a couple hours. But it was a pleasure coaching them every day. They loved, they embraced the, the, the hard work, which I, so much fun as a coach. Daniela for our defensive blocking foul on Lynn Woods. For everything that, I mean, they've done so many things well, Callahan, today. Yeah. Defensively, rebounding, heart. It's just been a matter of putting the ball in the hoop. Yep. Oh, that ball's got to go in. <laughs> I know. Two fifty to play, newbie. Twenty-seven to twelve lead for Lynn Woods. It does feel like the the ending is near. The ending is near. You know, it's, it's a good opportunity to you know um, get some players. You know, some good action, some good playing time. We maybe haven't played as much before, which looks like what they're doing. And as you know, just say enjoy the moment, appreciate the moment, and move on. To Lynn Woods' credit, they had a 14-8 lead at the half. Almost doubled that offensive output in the second half to 27. 27 is a good number. If you can hit, you know, around 30, I feel like you're in pretty good position to win, win one of these games. And they're right where they want to be. And Callahan had the offensive burst. They had a, a quick four-point swing. Yeah. They were right there, and then um, the championship cold. teams what championship teams do, they uh, they took it to another level. You You're know, right. The Wolves took it to another level, and uh, and they never looked back. 140 to play. Lynn Woods looking to secure the championship bid. His coach right there, Coach Bingham. Coach Lynn Bingham in the house, yeah. Jumper. Nope. Offensive there board, yes. yes! They would do. Twenty-seven, fourteen. Definitely watching them um, play reminds me when I was in elementary school playing. Who'd you play for in fifth grade? Um, Tracy. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Do you remember how it went in the tournament? Huh? Do you remember how you did in the tournament? No, I don't. Yeah. It's been a minute. If, <laughs> long minute. Nice offensive board, puts it in! Big smile on her face, back-to-back -back hoops for 
Looks like that's Amelia Brazo. Sean Morris taking no chances, putting his starters back in the game for the last 44 seconds. <laughs> Coach Bree Cara, Brian Cara, has been so positive with her girls. So yeah. she does, and, and Kate Wexler, obviously, too. The two of them are fantastic together, but uh, we're lucky to have them in Lynn. Absolutely. Such a great job at the basketball program. As leaders, as ex 10 second violation. All right, but good since, defense. since we're over the uh, double digits, the clock is supposed to run. It actually stopped there. It's running again now. 25 seconds uh -huh. to play. Yeah, it's going to run here. 20 seconds to play, 27 to 16. Lynn Woods about to secure the Division III 2023 championship. Yeah. Brazo yeah. again. All right. Yes. Six straight points. So here we go. So nine point game. They made it respectable. Three, two, and they're going to hold it. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to the Wolves on winning the championship. Wow. What a game. What an effort. Yeah. Really a wire to wire, a bell to bell effort from right. Lynn Woods. They jumped out to an only four point lead, never trailed. Every time that Callahan got a little bit closer, they widened that gap. You got to credit Lynn Woods for an outstanding, like you said, championship performance. That's your score right there, 27 and 18. Your Wolves are your champions. We'll be back for our next game. This is only one of one of six. We got, we got plenty of more. Get your popcorn out. Don't watch the NCAA tournament. This is the place to be right here. We'll be back. <laughs>